Hey everybody, Miley McKay here. I know my camera's not focusing. There you go, Miley McKay here, and today I thought I'd come back to you guys with videos since I just got a bunch of new movies recently and I haven't made a video on, on anything I've gotten recently. I haven't made a video in a while, so. I will say before I get started on showing you my recent movies, uh, before I do that, I just want to talk about the hell I've been through lately. <laughs> First of all, I went to Holiday World uh, last weekend on Sunday, which many of you who live where I live know what Holiday World is, the theme park in Indiana, um, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I went there, and my dad spent like $130 just for us to go there, and we didn't even do anything. We walked out, we walked in and walked out because... We went in there and we were going to go in the water park first because it was so fucking hot outside. And they kept shutting rides down in the water park. So we're like, fuck this. And we left. And my dad actually tried to get his comp for tickets. He's still trying. Because it was bullshit. And that happened. And on top of that, it was really hot that day, which I mentioned earlier. Um, and I overheated quite a bit to the point where I actually woke up the next day in the middle of the night with chest pains. I didn't sleep very well after that for like two days because I like overheated and dehydrated so badly. Cause I, like, it was so hot and the entire time, the entire like two and a half, almost three hours we were at that park, they have like free drink booths so you can get a soda or whatever. I didn't do that cause I didn't think I needed to. I thought we'd get in the park and ride here real quick, but I was very wrong. Then after that, I sat, I sat at home for a while to recoup, hopefully, I, and so that hopefully I feel better. Uh, uh, and I got better and I'm fine now. I, but recently I got some, I got some movies from my collection, so I figured I'd do a video. Also, while I'm thinking about it, if you ever notice, I use, I, I record my videos with my phone, my cell phone, and this reflection, like the shine on everything it is, because I use my phone light, and I've been doing that because when I made these videos in the bedroom, I did it because it was super dark in there, because I had the windows covered up, because I don't have blinds in the room, so I put like, I put cloth over the windows, or I put a towel over one window, and cloth over the other, I think. I do it in here because the last few videos I've made in my living room at my overflow wall, it's been storming, so it looks like this. Can't see shit. Anyways, we'll start off with the movies now. Got One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, 1975. This is actually a great movie. I really enjoyed this. I'm not even a dramatic film fan either. The new Firestarter. So I just got this yesterday by the time I'm recording this. No, little note, this doesn't look like the official DVD release because I don't know if it is. Uh, it's like officially manufactured or whatever, I just don't know if what, what the deal is. Um, this next one I was really happy I got because I've looking for this for a while. It's another 80s horror film from my collection. Night of the Demons, 1988. This one was a hard one to find and my guy Steve at Star Trek, who I've talked about on here before, he... He got this yesterday and he posted about it on his Facebook. And I saw it and I told the whole day when I came in the store to get it, he's like, I knew you'd go for that one. He's like he's like, I remember you asked me for that and he's like, I knew you would go for it. He's like, There you go, anyways. So I got it. Very happy, very rare film. What's interesting though is this is like an Anchor Bay release, much like my uh with I don't know if you can see my Wicker Man D V D and uh, the Witchboard and Near Dark releases I have. So I thought that was cool. And then this last one here is uh, Ready or Not. Samara Weaving horror film I've been wanting to get a hold of for a while. Because I know all about it and I've watched YouTube videos on it, I just haven't watched it for myself. And I really like the horror movie she's in, so I thought that was cool. Now, before I go. Before I go, I also want to talk about other things. Um, I saw the Jordan Peele movie, Nope, 
the other day with my dad in the theater. I actually liked it. It was a good movie. I'm not going to spoil it here for people who haven't seen it, but I liked the movie. It was great. Really weird, but I loved it either way. I thought it was awesome. I like Jordan Peele's movies anyways. You can see the Us, the copy, Blu ray copy of Us I have sitting here. It's because I was going to watch that recently. I'm still going to watch it recently. Also, uh, in light of recent events with movies I've been watching recently, the most recent thing I've watched are my Th The Thing movies, the original John Carpenter film from the 80s, and the prequel that I have from 2011, which I actually like the prequel. So it's one of those things. Also, uh, you notice how dark it was in here? When I turn this off, like that. Yeah, that is because the last few videos I've been here, it's been storming lately where I live, like really bad, to the point where uh, in eastern Kentucky, which isn't, which doesn't take very long to get where get to get to where I live, they had like mass floodings and all this horrible stuff. <laughs> so it's bad. Also, I want to give a shout out to my friend Zena Goatee. She's my best friend. I feel bad for her right now because she's she's been going through a lot of she's been going through heart or chest pain or whatever chest pains for something for several days and I feel bad. And I didn't know she didn't talk to me for days and I had no clue. But as I say, I love her. I hope she gets better. She's my best friend. She's one of the only friends I got besides my dad at the moment. So <laughs> I hope she's okay. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to say for now. Um, I think that about does it for, for the moment. Um, oh, today when, so my dad works at a restaurant at the river, not far from where I live, and he picked up another movie for, for me today from my buddy Steve at Star Trek, which you guys will see on my next video. So we'll do a little update to show you guys that. Dark Skies, it's an alien movie. Um, I'll get that tonight, do the video tomorrow, I guess. So. Oh, and I went to Evansville recently. Uh, I went to Evansville and I went to Holiday World that weekend. Uh, the horrible thing is, me and my dad were so tired and overheated after the Holiday World incident that it was like almost difficult to get out of the fucking car. <laughs> to the point where, like, so I felt like we were walking in slow motion. Plus, that morning was interesting because my dad woke me up to take me to... Because he'd just gotten paid, he'd woke me up to take me to Holiday World. He woke me up at 11 o'clock that morning. So it took me quite a while to wake up, which is also why I felt like shit that day. But all in all, all the shit I've been through and all the shit I know other people have been through, like, everything's been fine. But, gosh, this week, last weekend was rough for me, though. But, it's getting better now, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.